Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today to bring you the Lego EV3 Walking Wagon. This thing is really cool and really big. So if you want to see what it does, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so this walking wagon is a design by Artem16. I'll go ahead and leave you the link to the original video for this. Um, what's really neat is um, he gives you the um, building instructions and the program for this guy, so it's super cool. Um, the only downside for some of you might be that there's some expansion pieces on here. I'll go ahead and show you what those are. And it's just something that you might have to hit, hit up Brick Link or Brick Owl for those pieces. And it's just a really cool build. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Okay, so here is the walking wagon. A really cool build. And it didn't take me that long to build, actually. There were about 42 pages for those of you that can kind of guesstimate how long that might take. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things you might need to be aware of. So there are those expansion pieces. So this black piece right here, that gear for sure. This piece is definitely expansion. So let me go ahead and give you that look at that. Um, I know some of you have that expansion piece um, or the actual kit. Um, the original build called for the motocross wheels, and I was like, oh man, I left mine in school. But these expansion tires actually are not too bad. You could probably get away with the EV3 wheels too. Um, some other things you might want to keep in mind, I think the EV3 kit only has three of these picture frames, but you can see how it used four of them. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but other than that, I think we're good um, as far as expansion pieces. I don't think there was anything else. So that's something you might have to take a look at the instructions and see um, you know, what you got. So what we're working with is the ultrasonic sensor. I'll show you in a second um, what that ultrasonic does, but it's basically looking for where is the path that this walking wagon can take. So it's going to try to steer you aware from, away from objects. Um, we're using this medium motor here to um, turn this uh, ultrasonic sensor so that it can you know look for where we want to avoid so that's what this medium motor is for there's one large motor that's going to activate uh, the walking of this walking wagon and let me go ahead and just give you that setup there was something i had to keep in mind in the instructions that doesn't tell you when to put these cables in Wish I had put that cable in, but you know, I just popped the brick off and put the cable in there. And this, whew, this 20 inch almost, you know, doesn't make it. So it it's pretty much stretched at its limit. So be careful on that. And yeah, let's. It's a really cool robot. Let me go ahead and show you just you know manually with uh, motor control what it does, and then I'll show you the program. Okay, with just a simple brick program, this is what you can just do walking wise. Isn't that cool? Almost looks like a bicycle pedal right there. But it's just controlling the walking wagon legs right there. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the program does with the ultrasonic sensor. Okay, the Wagon Walker program has them starting off sleeping. I modified that if you see something within 20 centimeters to start to walk. He's programmed to walk forward until he sees something. And he's going to swivel and see where the best route would be to go. So you can just see here that he avoided going into the wall. And now he's just moving away from that object. And he's moving away from me too. Let's see what happens when he hits, gets close to this doorway. I notice he does sometimes get himself into trouble when he gets into a tight space like this. Ooh, that was pretty good. 
he'll sometimes seem to go the wrong direction. Like he might end up, nope. Hey, that's pretty good. He's scanning to see where the best place to go would be. And hey, he made the right decision, pretty good. And if he doesn't see anything, he should just, he should just keep going forward until he runs into some type of object. So a really cool ultrasonic robot here where he can just sense that he's gonna run into an object. So, you know, if you want to, you can take the program and make maybe the motor go faster if you think it needs to go faster. But it's a really cool program and robot here. guys so there you have it the lego ev3 wagon walker really cool robot thank you again artem 16 for the um, program and the build for this uh, for those of you again i apologize if you just have the core set um, hopefully you can get your hands on some of these expansion pieces i'm not sure if you can you know modify this with the pieces that you have in the ev3 kit i know this gear right here is not going to be something you can probably figure out. You might have to just go again to Brick Owl, Brick Link, and be able to pick these pieces up. Um, but a really cool build, um, really neat how this ultrasonic sensor can just help this uh, wagon walker avoid the walls. And it's just a really neat, you know, find the path that's, you know, most open. Really cool build. Okay, guys, so hopefully um, you are still staying safe, having fun. You guys have a great week. I am Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.